All right, I'm gonna show you the pistol squat, which is an awesome exercise for building one side of your body. Commonly, we train both sides with the traditional squat, whether it's a back squat, goblet squat, front squat, whatever the case is, we're training both sides. So this is a good way to isolate and identify some of your weaknesses and limitations so that you can build and train on those. Now, what I have behind me over here is a plyo box. This thing in particular is nice because it builds up to different heights. This is a 24 inch height, this is a 30 inch height, and then of course you have the 20 inch height. So this is nice because it allows me to train up to my current abilities. So let's say, you know, I'm moderate, I'm okay with the pistol squat. I can raise this up to a 24 inch height. Now your traditional chair is about 18 inches just so you have some insight into that. Go ahead and transition onto one leg and then what you're gonna do is just sit your butt back. What I like to tell people is to stick their tailbone out and that gets that hip hinge into play on this exercise, which is so important. A lot of times what people do is they'll just jut their knee out and try to sit straight down. That's okay, but it's gonna put a lot of stress on the knee. So what you wanna do is to mimic the actual full squat is you wanna have both a hip and a knee hinge. So you would stick your tailbone back, keep your trunk upright, and then return to standing. Now, just for some Clarification, I am only touching the surface of the seat. I'm not actually doing a full sit. And what that allows me to do is engage full contraction throughout the entire duration of the exercise from standing to sitting and then back up. So go ahead and give that a shot. As you get better, you can start to lower your, your height, your depth. And as you master that, you can also start to add some weight onto that. The idea of the pistol squat, you should be able to go all the way to the ground if your knees, your hips, your ankles are in good working condition. If you have anything like osteoarthritis, meniscus tears, even labral impingements or anything like that, it's gonna be much more challenging, so I would encourage you to modify using some of the methods that I've recommended. Enjoy, thanks for watching this video, and if you wanna see more of these things, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe because I'm releasing content regularly. Thanks for watching.